Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about regular polygons. All right, so what is a regular, regular polygon? Definition of a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. So I have a triangle, I have a square, and I have a pentagon. Those regular triangle, regular, well, square is a regular quadrilateral, and a pentagon. My Regular triangle is going to be an equilateral, equiangular triangle. My regular quadrilateral is going to be a square. And then I have a pentagon, a regular pentagon. And in all these cases, by definition, that polygon has sides that are congruent, and then the angles are going to be congruent as well. So you see that marked up. That's the definition of a regular polygon. All right, so that brings us to theorem 58. The measure E of each exterior angle of an equiangular polygon of n sides is given by the formula. Exterior angle is equal to 360. So remember the sum of all of the uh, measures of the exterior angles in a polygon is equal to 360 degrees. And we talked about that before. So we can figure out the uh, value of each of the exterior angles by taking that value of 360 degrees and dividing it by the number of sides uh, of that given polygon. So we know that in a regular polygon, all the interior angles are congruent. So we know that all the exterior angles are going to be congruent as well. So theorem 58 says, again, the measure E of each exterior angle of an equiangular polygon or a regular polygon of n sides is given by the formula. E is equal to 360 degrees uh, divided by n. So in this case, we have a hexagon six sides. So I can say that uh, e is going to be equal to 360 degrees divided by 6, or E is equal to 60 degrees. So first I found out the interior angle measure, and the interior angle measure was n minus 2 times 180 over n. Uh, so I had 4 times 180 divided by 6. That gives me 120 degrees for each of the interior angles. And I can see that my equation holds true. So E would say that, or the equation would say that E is 60 degrees, and if I go ahead and do the actual math, I find out that each of the exterior angles also comes out to be 60 degrees. So that corresponds. All right, so moving on, I got some questions for you. First question is how many degrees are there in each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon? So how many degrees are there in each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon? So I'm going to give you a minute to figure that out. All right, your time is up. How many degrees are there in each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon? So remember, E is equal to 360 divided by N. So again, exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by N. So I have 12 sides in a dodecagon. Each exterior angle is going to be equal to 30 degrees. All right, number two, if each angle of a polygon is 135 degrees, how many sides does a polygon have? So I'm going to give you a moment to think about that one. All right, your time is up. You can always pause the YouTube video. Okay, if each angle of the polygon is 135 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? Well, we know that our formula for the angles in a regular polygon, um, and a regular polygon has the same uh, angle measure for each of the interior angles, is going to be n minus 2 times 180 over n. So if I simplify that and express it out and solve for n, I get 135n is equal to n minus 2 times 180, or 180n minus 360. I solve for n, and I get that the number of sides is equal to 8. All right, uh, second to last question. I have one more fun question for you. Find If you can call these fun, I think that they're fun. Find the measure of each angle of a regular polygon. Find the measure of each angle of a regular pentagon. Okay, time is up. All right, so we know the measure of, uh, well, we know the pentagon has five sides, and we know the measure of each interior angle in a regular polygon is going to be n minus 2 times 180 over n. So I have 5 minus 2 times 180 over 5, or 540 divided by 5, or 108 degrees. Okay, looks like I have a bunch of more questions, a few more questions for you. Uh, all right, so we're going to say whether each statement is true always, sometimes, or never. Number one, if the number of sides of an equiangular polygon is doubled, 
the measure of each exterior angle is halved. If the number of sides of an equiangular polygon is doubled, then the measure of each exterior angle is halved. So I'm going to give you time to think about that one. All right, your time is up. Answer is going to be always. All right, so if I have E is equal to 360 divided by N, I multiply N times 2. That would be the same as 1 half E, right, because I, I divide 360 by 2. I also have to multiply both sides by or multiply the left-hand side by 1 half. So I have 1 half E is equal to 360 over 2N. Number two, the measure of an exterior angle of a decagon is greater than the measure of an exterior angle of a quadrilateral. The measure of an exterior angle of a decagon is greater than the measure of an exterior angle of a quadrilateral. So I'll let you think about that for a second. All right, time is up. Okay, and the answer to that is sometimes, because we didn't say regular, right? So you gotta be careful when you read these questions. Uh, read them read them, and look for the regular. It's gotta say regular if each of the angles are gonna be congruent. Um, so in this case, it is, uh, it didn't say regular, so we don't know. If it did say regular, if it did say regular, then it would be never. All right, a regular polygon is equilateral. Regular polygon is equilateral. So I'll let you think about that for a second. Regular polygon is equilateral. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next slide and the answer to that is going to be always, by definition, regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular. Number four, an equilateral polygon is regular. Right, so we're the reverse of the definition. Is that true? So I'll let you think about that for a moment. We're going to move on. Your time is up. And the answer to that is sometimes. What about a rhombus? A rhombus is equilateral, but it's not regular. So all the angles are not congruent. All the interior angles in a rhombus are not congruent. Okay, moving on. I have two more questions for you. If the midpoints of the sides of a scaling quadrilateral are joined in order, the figure formed is equilateral. So a scaling quadrilateral is a quadrilateral in which all the sides are not going to be congruent. So, all right, time is up. Let's figure out the answer to this one. Well, the answer is sometimes. Uh, okay, so sometimes uh, it, the sides are going to be um, equilateral and sometimes they're not going to be equilateral. And I, what I've done is I've drawn a square here and I've connected the uh, the midpoints of the side of a scaling quadrilateral um, with the, uh, the square, and I've shown that the figure formed um, can be equilateral sometimes and sometimes it's not. I know that's a bad drawing. Okay, uh, if the midpoints of the sides of rhombus are joined in order, the figure formed is equilateral but not equiangular. I'll let you think about this for a second. Okay, and your answer is gonna be never. We can show that ABCD is a parallelogram with congruent diagonals, so it's gonna be a rectangle. So if the midpoints of the sides of a rhombus are joined in order, the figure form is equilateral, but not equiangular. Um, so if we join the midpoints of this particular rhombus, we show that it's gonna end up being a rectangle. So it will be equiangular, uh, but not necessarily equilateral. 